Hi, and welcome back to The Decked. I am the author stylist, Rebecca N. Bryan. You can call me Beck. This year I am doing my gift guide for writers once again. I did one last year, came up with some ideas from my own wish list and from things I thought writers would enjoy. And this year I have 20 items for you to buy for the writers in your life. Some of these I came up with on my own from my own wish list or things I already have that I find useful or things that I think writers will find useful. And then I also reached out to the writing community I am in to get some more ideas. So thank you to those of you who gave me ideas. They had some really great ones that I never would have thought of. Um, today we have a themed cocktail. I wanted to go kind of festive, but it's just something I like. So we have a rum chata and vanilla cocktail here today. It's just, it's half and half. It's half rum chata, half vanilla vodka. So we'll see how much we get through on this episode today. delish, of course. One time I had rum chata and cake vodka, and I don't know if you can find cake vodka anymore. I don't know if they can make it anymore, but rum chata and cake vodka, yes, perfection. All right, so let's get to the wish list. I am going to reference my phone uh, quite a bit because um, that is where I have everything written down. So let's see. I will have links to everything I found below in the description and I will pop up pictures as we go. The holidays are coming. Unfortunately, I did not get this up before Black Friday, but I'm going to guess there are going to be deals going on until Christmas anyway. The first thing that I came up with is affirmation stuff. <laughs> now, of course, this wouldn't just be good for authors. This would be good for any creator, any person, any any human could use an affirmation every now and then, right? There's stuff that says believe, stuff that says do the thing, you know, wishes come true. I don't know, anything that has maybe jewelry or um, like a needlepoint that has anything inspirational on it that would, you know, you could put at your desk or you could wear every day that would just you know, pump you up. The one I have saved to my wish list is worthy because it's always a good reminder for me that I am worthy, you are worthy, we're worthy of success, we're worthy of love. And especially for my books, that is a that is a theme throughout all my writing is to people trying to prove to themselves and to um, outside influences that they are worthy of whatever goal they're trying to meet. So worthy is a word that resonates with me a lot, but you can find your own word and um, get that as a gift. Number two, this gift is big in my nuclear family. Uh, me, myself and my daughters both have one now. My husband doesn't want one, but an hoodie. <laughs> it is this very large oversized hoodie. I think it's an adult. I think it's a 6X size. It's super warm, super cuddly, and super highly recommended whether you're sitting at the couch or by the fire, getting some work done, or even reading. So Udi is my number two. Anything cozy, but we in this family are Udi fans. Okay, a cool keyboard. I've seen so many cool keyboards out there. I follow one writer on Instagram who has a pink keyboard and I love that. That's really cool. Um, they have like keyboards that look like old timey typewriters. Uh, if you're a steampunk writer or if you're into that at all. Um, all sorts of cool keyboards that will make you excited to get to the computer. I was paging through the Sharper Image catalog that got delivered to our house and trying to get some ideas for people and I saw a mug warmer. Maybe that would be helpful for a writer. If you have your coffee and you get in the zone, you know, 45 minutes later, your coffee's cold. So there you go. I believe I suggested something like this last year, but um, I'm gonna suggest it again because I think there's nothing, there's no cooler gift for an author who's already published a book than to get their own words on a piece of fabric that they can use. So this, this company called Lit Litographs, they make scarves, they make blankets. This is not sponsored, but go there. It's, it's really awesome stuff. So you could wrap up with your own words. That's pretty cool. Speaking of 
books on apparel. Uh, I also, I, I would say anything from out of print um, would be awesome. If you find a book that you like, I mean, if they, if, they ha if they carry a book that you like, out of print has such cool stuff. Subscription boxes. This was actually another thing I had not thought of what subscription boxes might be offered, but the writing community I mean, came through coffee or teas. Uh, I guess there's a subscription box to a stationery service. You can get cool new, you know, paper and pens and stuff. That would be cool. Their subscription boxes, I feel like for pretty much everything these days. Okay, so I saw this, I don't remember where I saw this. I think my daughter was browsing on Amazon. I saw this dry erase. I think it's dry erase, like a, a, a notebook <laughs> you take notes on and then scan it to your phone and it reads the text and saves that information and then you can wipe it down and do it again. I don't know, some sort of a smart board thing. I will look it up and pop it up, but that'd be another note. That'd be another idea if you know someone who likes to, you know, physically write things down. Um, depending on your budget, you could also go with a device. Like I've heard the Kindle Scribe is on some people's wish list this year. So that's another idea. If you're looking for a more high tech gift this year, Books on writing or the business of writing are always a good idea. I know when I was first starting out writing, uh, Rain Hall's series of books was totally invaluable. She has one on self-editing that I purchased and one on writing fight scenes that I used to write Florantha. Love those books. And if you're working on the business of the business side of writing, I definitely recommend Your Book, Your Brand by Dana Kay. I got that. Um, I think last year sometime and it's a really good read for marketing ideas and just how to establish your brand if you haven't done that already. Here's a good idea. Anything that can take, that can take things off a person's plate so that they can work on writing or anything else, such as, um, a cleaning service, a food delivery service, even a month of childcare. Why not? How about some pretty writing utensils? I think I mentioned this one last year, but like maybe uh, pens or pencils with funny sayings on them or pretty notebooks or stuff like that. I'm lumping it all together because that's always gonna be exciting to writers. Pretty, pretty things to write with. <laughs> How about some cozy socks? Like reading socks, whether they are, I have a pair of socks, I think, Someone in my family got them from Amazon. Um, and on the bottom of them, they have like stickies and one foot says shh and one foot says I'm reading. So those are pretty cute. But um, even fuzzy socks, you know, anything really cozy or with a funny saying on them. I also have some um, Jane Austen socks that have a Jane Austen quote on them. I love quirky socks. And I mean, if you live in a colder climate, you're probably gonna be wearing socks under boots anyway. So why not make them fun? Or how about something to make writing more practical, like a lap, a padded lap desk that you could set your laptop in when you're lying in bed, wearing your cozy socks and your blanket that has your book on it, your book written on it. You may want a pad to put your laptop in so um, it stays off your lap. My daughter actually brought this up too. She wanted one for long car rides, so. There you go. If you don't get car sick, you could also use it on a car ride. Um, I personally do, so I could not use it in a car. But traveling in general, that would be a good thing to have. And while you are working on your lap desk, you're gonna need a really comfy pillow behind you too. So why don't you get a backrest pillow if you know someone or if you personally <laughs> like working in bed too. Number 16. Education, pay for someone's education. Maybe if they have a course they wanna take um, or there may be some membership fees to a group they wanna join or maybe some coaching they wanna participate in. Um, find out what that is and pay for that or just give them money and say, this is for your furthering education. 
Number 17 is something I had never heard of before, but transparent post-it notes. In case you want to take notes in a book, like over the text, but don't want to actually mark up the book, transparent post-it notes. I think that's pretty cool. I mentioned this last year and I kind of mentioned it in the subscription box services, but you could get the writer in your life a fun mug. And then with the mug, you could give them their favorite fuel, whether it be hot chocolate or tea or maybe a wine glass with wine or um, a bottle of rum chata. I, I don't know. Find out what your <laughs> find out what the writer in your life's favorite fuel is and buy them that. Maybe you could make a donation to a charity in their name, whether it be a library or a book for kids or some re relevant charity um, that would be meaningful to them. And finally, any good writer has to read in and out of their genre to um, improve on their craft. So if the writer in your life does not have a subscription to Kindle Unlimited or Audible, you could buy that or just buy them a bunch of books in their genre or books you think they would like. Those are all the ideas I have today. Hopefully some of you found some things to add to your wish list or to buy for other writers in your life. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Deck. Tune in next week for whatever topic or book I decide to deck out next. Cheers! <laughs>